Revenge after 15 years. Do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath. For it is written, It is mine to avenge, I will repay. Romans 12 19. It was the eve of Chuseok, which is Korean Thanksgiving Day, when under the bright moonlight, a middle aged husband and wife rang our doorbell. I opened the door to discover a Christian couple, long-time close friends of ours. They especially liked our family, asked for advice whenever they were in trouble, and relied on us like family. Our son, whom we hadn't seen too often because he had been a bit too busy over the past years, came home with a bag of fresh fruits to spend Chusa with us. The couple's face shone with joy as bright as the full moon. They were all smiles, as they said, from yesterday evening until the moment we arrived here. We have had the happiest time of our whole life. We just feel so happy and overjoyed. And the husband took out a white, thick envelope from his pocket. As I was puzzled and staring at them, he said, we thought you'd have forgotten about it, but we have never forgotten about it, even for a moment. We knew we must pay back the money you lent us long ago. However, while we worked so hard, money wouldn't come to us. And recently, the money that had been so hard to gather finally came in. So, as soon as we got some money, we ran to you to finally return the debt after 15 long years. The couple looked very happy. I couldn't remember. I didn't remember lending money to them. I don't know when I lent you this money. I mean, such a large amount of money as this? Telling me to think harder to jog my memory, they promised it was the money they had borrowed. That moment, a memory came up in my head. And I said, ah, that's right, I remember. They did borrow money from me 15 years ago, and they hadn't paid it back. My husband had delivered the gospel to the husband, who was an impoverished worker at his construction site. After a series of Bible study sessions, the couple began to attend our church. They were extremely poor parents of a son and a daughter. Soon after joining our church, they asked us to lend them some money. My husband lent them some money, not knowing the money wouldn't be returned. We requested a couple of times for the money back, but the couple kept a cold look on their face whenever we made the request. They seemed to be far from intending to pay back the money. Hatred towards them grew in my heart. I figured I shouldn't struggle with this problem anymore. I thought I should sincerely and genuinely cast this problem upon God. Leaving a problem with God means to no longer dwell upon it. Since then, I called upon Jesus every time I was reminded of the couple or the money. By doing so, I could escape from those thoughts. After a while, I realized that the unpleasant feelings in me towards them and the memory about the money had disappeared. My husband felt the same. I didn't even know how many years had passed by. Had my relationship with them gone bad due to the money problem, the couple might have left the church. While I cast this problem to Jesus and completely forgot about it, the couple maintained a good life of faith and one of their children became a pastor. Looking down at the envelope, I mumbled, Wow, this is amazing. How could this be possible? It's just unbelievable. I mumbled so because I just heard the voice of Jesus which flashed through my mind. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath. For it is written, It is mine to avenge, I will repay.
when I left it with God, he worked out a way for the money to be repaid to me. Ah, how amazing! What a wonderful way to avenge!